Okay, observations about that jaywalking ticket across the highway. Before I got that ticket, I was pacing a lot to the dead end road next to uh, what's it called a GP parking lot, which that's what the cop called it. I didn't know about that that area. I didn't know that had a, that was the name of it. Earlier, like during the city council meeting. They were talking about somebody who who was willing to pay for that area, okay? Like, they've been trying to get, the city council's been trying to get rid of that, trying to do something with that GP lot, uh, I think for decades. Go, I think it goes back to the 90s, at least, all right? I believe GP stands for Georgia Pacific, which is a major lumber industry that must have uh, pulled up everything there's no sign of any activity there now but it might not be a very popular uh, spot for business maybe it's toxic but people can walk on it so i'm not sure but the city council has been difficult have been having difficulty selling it they were even talking about just giving it away just to have somebody do something with it because it's just an open parking lot uh, that the city owns along the river and just sits there, and I parked my car there, and at night, at about 9 p.m., as I was pacing down the, the dead-end road, just trying to work off stress for, uh, for the court date the next day, I, I witnessed a, a cop pulling into the lot and shining their side lights, getting out, and shining their flashlight all up in my, in my car. There's a semi, there's another truck, and that was about as three cars in all, and he just stops at my car, shining his flashlight all over inside. It took about I don't know, a couple minutes, and then and then left. I was wondering if he's going to come down the dead end road and see me, but he just turned back in towards the city. And I'm guessing now, I didn't know who that was. It was such a far distance, but now I'm, I'm guessing that this uh, canine cop who asked if that was my car is probably is probably him who is shining it. Unless if somebody stopped by my car much earlier during the daylights, I I think I pretty much had had my car in in view at night up until that that nine o'clock incident. So I, I I went across the street. The cop was there, and he stopped me. And I don't think that he would have asked me if my car was in that lot had. Uh, I not asked for his ID in exchange, okay? It would have just been like a, a much shorter conversation. So you can really, you can learn a little extra from the cop by asking for more information in return. Yeah, sure, it leads to a ticket, but I think I was bound to get a ticket no matter how cooperative I would have been anyway since I might have a cop-beating reputation in that town. But this, this is a cop town in general anyway. Just look at the layout. Look at what's there. Look at what's driving the economy. Okay. They they have the court the county courthouse. They have the county jail. They uh, they have the dispatch center, the sheriff's office. They they hire extra cops, extra city cops to, to serve as like a secondary uh, guard for for the the county all the county operations okay Th this is a highly unusual uh, number of cops for for a town of 4000 people all right and they're in, they're getting the benefit of of the state paying for all the beds at the 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 jail and and all that so <clears throat> they're they're enforcing that area a lot that's a cop town all right I mean, one day when I was just sitting pretty much all day in that GP parking lot, which I call it the, I was calling it the Coco, like the carnival parking lot, because they're they're trying to put like some kind of car a carousel there. I witnessed, I only witnessed two, two cars, but it seemed pretty significant. Two cars getting pulled over to the side of the road, just at that intersection. The car, and it's, it's a speed trap. I mean, it's, you go from 55 miles an hour on the outside of the city and you have to drop down the 35 passing through the city on this highway. It's a speed trap, and and it's it's the only lights. There, those are the only lights 
like fully operating lights they have in the town and it's it's a real it's a real boon for their economy to write tickets to to patrol a little heavier around that those lights 